Welcome to IT Outcomes 2017. My name is Ray Lefebvre and I'm the Vice President of Information Technology and Chief Information Officer at Bridgewater State University. What you're about to see represents opportunities, collaborations, and results brought to you through teamwork and strategic partnership across Bridgewater State University. And it allows uh, students to create uh, new material and then display it on the sphere and allow the general public or other students to see that material. Um, and a big part of this is also K-12 outreach uh, through the CASE, our Center for Advancement of STEM Education. Uh, the sphere can be used uh, to uh, educate uh, K-12 students. Uh, the Department of Counselor Education is responsible for training counselors. We have about 150 students currently in three programs and our accreditation requires a counselor education lab in order to keep our accreditation into license. And so I was the faculty member that worked with IT and the department chair to create the lab out of space that we currently used, which was tricky but successful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we use this equipment in our group counseling classes, our applied counseling, and some of our advanced applied classes. And it's pretty great because this is kind of like the main hub um, where the class is, and then you can see um, breakout rooms behind us of students counseling one another and practicing the skills that they're learning. The way that the station is now compared to it was when I was a student is vastly different. We have so many new upgrades. We have new switchers. We have new microphones, new microphone holders. We have new computers. We have new printers. We have new desks, new furniture. We have a new mobile DJ station. We now are the sole provider of DJing, for the most part, across campus. One of the most important and amazing upgrades is that we now can live broadcast anywhere on campus. So we don't even have to be in this room anymore. We can actually live broadcast from any internet port on campus. We just plug in and we broadcast it. It sends it right back to the studio. Uh, President Fred Clark seems to really enjoy WBIM and we hope that we're making you proud with all the new upgrades that we have been afforded to. This year, the IT department installed four learning pods in the RCC. I believe these learning pods are great for commuters along with residents because they are a safe, soundproof environment to get work done, especially around final times when everything's hectic around here. You can just hit up one of the pods and do your work. Personally, the pods for me work very well, especially after I come from eating some Bears Den. I come right into the RCC. I can charge my phone if it's almost dying. I can pull out my laptop, and if that needs charging, it comes with two charging ports, so I can charge both at the same time. It comes really handy right before class. I have class right upstairs. I relax here for about 10 minutes and go upstairs. We hope you've enjoyed this short video, and I would like to thank everyone on the information technology team for all of their hard work. Aaron, Ezzy, and Kelsey for their contributions to the IT Outcomes 2017 publication and video, and to students, faculty, and staff, thank you for your inspiration. To learn more about these short stories, check out IT Outcomes 2017 at it.bridgew.edu slash itoutcomes.